Hey everybody, it's Nate with Sauce Ain't the Boss here again and today is day number 172 of quitting alcohol. I've been working on this Toyota FJ62 Land Cruiser again uh, today. Ever since we bought it about 10 years ago, 12 years ago, somewhere in there, every time we would hit the button for the spray for the rear window, the washer fluid for that, um, we'd hear the motor run but no fluid would ever come out of the nozzle onto the window. And then all of a sudden we'd start getting fluid coming out of the lift gate on the back, just pouring all over the place. So I knew that the fluid line had a break in it somewhere. So it's been all these years, like I say, 10 or 12 years, never did trace it down, figure it out. And I had some time today, so I thought, why not dive into it? I had to peel the headliner back to trace the line. It was actually a little bit more labor intensive than I thought, but finally found the break and got it repaired. And now we have, uh, washer fluid for the back window again. And uh, also noticed that every time we would put the uh, rear wiper on the intermittent mode where it would come up and down every once in a while, um, sometimes it would just stop working on the intermittent mode and the relay was all gummed up and dirty. So I pulled the relay out and cleaned that. Now that's working great too. And anyway, these are becoming worth some money. Uh, I saw one on auction uh, similar to ours go for about 50,000 on bring a trailer. It had like 248,000 miles. It had some work done to it, uh, but ours only has 153,000 miles. So I'm restoring it the best I can. I'm going to do quite a bit of work to it here. I think uh, put a two inch lift on it and uh, some 33 inch tires and um, anyway, I'm probably boring you people that aren't into the cars. So uh, today I just wanted to talk about going with the flow. Uh, lately here, it has been almost like flood type rain we've been having lately. I mentioned that in another video. Been raining, 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 and uh, looking at the forecast, it just keeps coming. And, um, you know, I'm one of those people, I really like the sunshine to get out and hike and that kind of thing. And not that you can't hike in the rain, but when it's pouring buckets, it's just not ideal, obviously. And uh, so I get a little bit bummed out, you know, and it's just on and on and on. And even customers that have been coming into our shop today have been complaining about it. And, you know, it's one of those things you need the rain, but it just gets old. And, uh, you know, but, you know, it's, it's all about finding things to do and being productive and doing things like this today. Um, when things are kind of out of your control, you do what you can with what you have where you are, you know. And um, so that's what I'm doing. And, um, you know, a lot of times... Some of us, uh, I know I did, would drink because, uh, you know, you get willful and you want things to be a certain way and you can't control certain things. So you just get kind of frustrated and you turn to the alcohol or, um, you know, things don't go your way. You turn to the alcohol and uh, just those things you can't control and um, you get kind of irritated and want to drink. So, um Going with the flow is something I'm learning how to do now that I'm away from the alcohol. I'm not turning to that, so I'm just learning to like not feel frustrated and just stay calm, cool, and just flow through stuff. The other day I broke a bolt off when I was working on this thing and I uh, had to drill it out and stuff. And um, you know, usually I'd be cussing up a storm and carrying on and it was just like, I got time to work on this stuff, might as well just, you know, take my time and do it right, be calm and patient and that kind of thing. And uh, again, you know, you really don't have too many opportunities to work on yourself when you're numbing everything in yourself with alcohol every single day. And so it's kind of neat just to be become a different person and start to see things about yourself and work on things and learn to just not be such a headstrong, willful person. Um, that's my deal, you know, and um, just become more calm and, and able to just get on day to day um, without, you know, needing to feel like I got to be in control of everything as much, you know. I'm still a little bit of a control freak, but I'm working on it and stuff. And, you know, I'm pretty fussy. I like everything to be perfect and that kind of thing. And, uh, and probably to a fault, you know. So uh, I'm just learning how to be different in that respect. And again, you know, some of these videos are straight talking about the goods and bads of alcohol and, and what it, what's bad about it for you, what's good when you quit it. But um, a lot of this stuff is just um, also working on yourself and things that I'm seeing personally about myself that I'm working on. And so um, I figure if I share that stuff with you guys, maybe some of you guys are finding that, you know, you're a type A personality and um, now you're not drinking anymore. And 
uh, what do I do? You know, that's kind of me was like, I'm so headstrong and so go, go, go. And alcohol was like one of those things I used to calm all that down. And now I don't have that drug anymore. And so I'm having to learn to navigate life and go with the flow more and let that stuff go. And that's not necessary. It's good to be kind of a, you know, a person that gets things done and plans and type A, but uh, it could also be a bad thing too if you overdo it. And so trying to find that happy medium of, um, you know, where it's uh, good but not over the top. So uh, anyway, that's it for today, guys. Just kind of learning to go with the flow after you quit drinking and uh, don't get yourself worked up about things that are out of your control. Just control how you deal with those things. Control your attitude. Control um, the, the situation the best you can with the things that you can control because there ain't no use worrying about and stressing about the things that like rain that you have no control over or a bolt breaking off or something like that. Um, you can control your attitude though and how you move forward dealing with it. So, and that's what I'm learning and wanted to share with you guys today. So anyway, that's it. If you guys are enjoying these videos, please give them a like, subscribe to the channel if you can. And most importantly, remember, sauce ain't the boss. You are. You guys have a great day.